All right, everyone, welcome back. And today I am going to be starting with some of the cleaning supplies that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. First up, some of the cleaning towels. And this was a three pack, and previously I had only seen two, so this is an even better deal. And I really like that these are washable and reusable, and they go with my family's zero waste mindset using these in the summer, I want to make sure that even more aspects of our home are zero waste, so I'm really looking forward to cleaning with these. The next thing I purchased was a car cleaning mitt, and the reason I'm going to get this are for mini blinds and smaller surfaces like over top of doorways in our house. I'm really thinking this is going to help me, and again, it's washable, and for a dollar, you can't go wrong. The next thing I picked up in the automotive section are one of the car cleaning chamois. And the reason I picked this up is because it provides lint-free cleaning for larger items like HDTVs, LCTVs, laptop monitors, tablets, and any of my electronic devices that need a good cleaning once a week. I'm going to be using this. And it's a really, really nice size, so you don't have to take too many swipes across when you're cleaning, especially your television. So this is going to be, again, in the automotive section, a really good deal from the Dollar Tree. And the next thing I picked up was, again, another two-pack of the microfiber towels, again, in the automotive section. And the reason I get the ones in the automotive section in lieu of what's in the household section, these are actually two and a half inches in each direction, larger than the other cleaning cloths, so you get a little more bang for your buck when you buy them in the car section. And the final two items in the cleaning stash are two more bottles. I normally see the clear kind of opaque white bottles and I missed out earlier this spring on getting kind of the fun uh, flower print ones, but I did pick up a green and a blue bottle, and I plan to make um, some vinegar-based cleaners for this summer and start new cleaning caddies. And now that I'm no longer buying store cleaners, except a few things like Lysol and those types of cleaners, I'm really interested in seeing how well these stand up. Comparable bottles at Walmart are over $4 a piece, so I'm really excited about getting these. Next up, let's look at some household items. The first thing I picked up for the house are these candle trays from the Dollar Tree, and I love to keep these on hand. They have little feet, as you can see, and a great uh, ridged edge, and I think they look really nice. They have comparable dishes just like this at Target and at Pier 1 for over $10 a piece, so for a dollar, that's a steal. The next thing I picked up was from the automotive section again, and these are mats that are actually sold to go under charcoal grills um, as they're a flame retardant to uh, catch embers and things like this. But since they have little ridges in them, I'm actually planning to use this in front of litter boxes in our home since when the cats get out, it'll hold the litter in it, and then I can just take this outside and shake it out and vacuum it or put the litter directly into our compost bin. So this is great. Considering that at Walmart recently, I spotted litter mats that were over $8 a piece, and they were about a fourth of the size. So even if this is something that I have to replace later in the year for the savings, why not? The next thing I purchased were two wet and wild makeup brushes. One is a large eyeshadow brush and the second a contouring brush. And I had seen these recommended by other YouTubers, so I'm really wanting to try these out. I recently had actually had to throw out some of my eco brushes because they actually molded in my bathroom cabinet, so I'm really hoping that these brushes will do better. The next thing I picked up was a Lysol Clean and Fresh. Now, yes, I am going to be making my own cleaners, but I did want to try this because I had seen several people online say this mixed with, say, eight parts water to the Lysol was a really good just daily sink cleaner, and so I'm kind of excited to try that. Hmm. In terms of the smell, it smells a lot like fabric softener, so it's very clean, not overly fragrant, so I really like that. And this is the Cherry Blossom and Pomegranate scent, which I had not seen previously, so I went ahead and picked up a bottle. 
The next thing I picked up are these very festive sandal flip flops from the Dollar Tree. And I'm not going to actually be using this in the traditional sense of wearing them outdoors, but rather turning these into crocheted house shoes. So once I get that project going, I will definitely be filming that. But I'm thinking, as compared to some of the other sandals that I've seen comparably on Etsy, for a dollar you can't beat it. I've seen crocheted slippers starting at over $40, so I'm kind of excited to see how that project goes. The next thing, clear shower uh, curtain hook hooks. And the reason I got this is because I plan to attach this to a hanger or two in my closet and to hang tank tops and smaller workout tops this summer because they just haven't really fit well in our closet and they're kind of small and they don't stand up very well uh, with KonMari folds in our built-ins. So I'm thinking hanging them might be the way to go because I'm 70 pounds down in my weight loss plan. I have about the same to go. So I really want to get out there and really you know, get sweaty this summer as my husband would say. And I'm hoping these will be a great DIY for that. The next thing, I have jumped on the train of these makeup organizers. I've seen these for the past year. Most hauls, someone has this in it. And since my makeup collection is pretty minimal since conmaring my house, I'm gonna start with one and then see where I need to expand. But I really wanna be able to, instead of having huge makeup cases where everything is thrown in a drawer or everything's out of sight, I kinda of want all of my cosmetics out where they're being utilized or they're going to be tossed and not purchased again. So I'm really excited about this and I'm probably purchasing more of these in the weeks to come. Next thing I picked up were these really fun, cute, weenie dog thank you cards. I have been getting some really amazing letters from people from my blog and on the channel and so I want to start a new collection of thank you cards to write. I'm a personal fan of snail mail. I've done it since I was a child. It was something that my grandmother instilled in me. Whenever someone does something nice for you or you receive a letter, you should always respond, not with email, but with a card. So we'll be collecting more of those. Next thing from the Jot Company, seven packs of mini washi tape. And these are so cute. And I got one of each pattern that I saw. And I'm actually thinking using these in my planner because I have pages on my uh, memo section behind each month in my planner where, you know, there's really no natural separation to them. So I thought this might be great for separating home and business um, things that are applicable to those areas. And I really like how small this is. And the Jot Company is a brand that's even sold at larger stores like Staples. So if you can get, you know, a, a much larger company to sell at the Dollar Tree for these prices, why not? And two more items here. We have the first one, I thought this was cute as a button, the Virgin de Guadalupe candles. And uh, I'm a candle fan. I was also raised Roman Catholic. So on the train of these makeup organizers, I've seen these for the past year. Most hauls, someone has this in it. And since my makeup collection is pretty minimal since conmaring my house, I'm going to start with one and then see where I need to expand. But I really want to be able to, instead of having huge makeup cases where everything is thrown in a drawer or everything's out of sight, I kind of want all of my cosmetics out where they're being utilized or they're going to be tossed and not purchased again. So I'm really excited about this and I'll probably be purchasing more of these in the weeks to come. Next thing I picked up were these really fun, cute, weenie dog thank you cards. I have been getting some really amazing letters from people from my blog and on the channel. And so I want to start a new collection of thank you cards to write. I'm a personal fan of snail mail. I've done it since I was a child. It was something that my grandmother instilled in me. Whenever someone does something nice for you or you receive a letter, you should always respond, not with email, but with a card. So we'll be collecting more of those. Next thing from the Jot Company, seven packs of mini washi tape. And these are so cute. And I got one of each pattern that I saw. And I'm actually thinking using these in my planner because I have pages on my uh, memo section behind each month in my planner where, 
you know, there's really no natural separation to them. So I thought this might be great for separating home and business um, things that are applicable to those areas. And I really like how small this is. And the Jock Company is a brand that's even sold at larger stores like Staples. So if you can get, you know, a, a much larger company to sell at the Dollar Tree for these prices, why not? And two more items here. We have the first one, I thought this was cute, has a button. The Virgin de Guadalupe candles. And uh, I'm a candle fan. I was also raised Roman Catholic, so this is right up there for me. When my husband spotted this on our last trip, I thought these were absolutely adorable. I had seen similar candles in Target so and Winn-Dixie, I believe. So they were in the five or six dollar range. So for a dollar, we had to pick one up. And the last one, one of my favorites, these small little mason jar candles that I absolutely love because I reuse the jar from everything from spices to small cosmetic items. They fit perfectly inside of a medicine cabinet in your bathroom or in your drawer for small craft items. And this was the Melted Chocolate S'mores and it smells like dark organic chocolate. It has a very rich earthy smell to it and I really really liked it so we picked up one of those. And now on to our books. And this last trip I was able to pick up several new books at the Dollar Tree for my husband and I and let's get into those. The first one I picked up was this table book from Time Life about City Parks internationally and this had a retail of $50. And here's just an example of this book. It is absolutely gorgeous. International Perspectives of Open Places and Public Gardens and the like. And this is just a beautiful book that will be a great coffee table addition to our house uh, for ourselves and guests this season. The next book was a find for my husband, which was an R. V. Salvatore book. He really likes this author and will be reading that this season. And this had a retail of $24.99, so that was a great find for a dollar. This is a $25 book again, and this is a book about the economic crisis in the United States in 2008. So this is something with my political science background that both my husband and I really, really enjoy, so we look forward to that. And the next few books were all in the $20 range, but still great great price at a dollar. The first romance is my day job. This should be a fun, fun summer read. And the next was an Oprah book club listing, and this is Icy Sparks. Really excited to read that. Another, uh, this was a Target Readers Club find, Turnaround Bright Eyes for a dollar. Can't beat that. Uh, another Target Readers Club, um, in secret, so I look forward to reading that one. And finally, uh, Jonathan Franzen's Farther Away, which was a National Book Club Award selection two years ago. So I really look forward to this. This was a $30 retail. So all in all, I picked up $470 worth of books for $8. You really, really, really can't beat that. So everybody, that is my latest May 2017 Dollar Tree haul. I would love to hear below in the comments anything that I have shown that you were excited about, anything you may have picked up in your hauls, or if you've done a haul and you'd like me to look at your channel and see it, please leave me a link below. And again, as always, I would love it as a new small YouTube channel if you could hit that subscribe button below, turn on those notifications, and let's be friends. I look forward to building this community and I also look forward to having you all again at my blog, The Lady Prefers with the number two to save.com. My name is Nicole and of course, please be kind to yourself and to others and have an awesome day. Thank you.